Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, Will Beats Games. I'm Will, and today I'm presenting the ultimate cleaning and sticker remover tutorial. I'm going to show you exactly what I use to remove those annoying yellow GameStop stickers, and it's not cool gone. Something way better. So sit back, relax, and let's get right to it. All right, so we're going to start off by showing the supplies that I normally use isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Make sure that you get 90% or above. The more percentage, the less water it contains, helping it dry quicker when you apply it on the plastic. And of course, some paper towels. Make sure you got plenty handy. You're gonna need a couple. Also, grab a couple of Q-tips. And of course, what I call the solution, besting solvent and thinner for thinning and reducing rubber cement. I heard this is what they use to remove tape from expensive paintings. And last but not least, some video games with stickers on them. All right, we're gonna start with sticker removal. And I'm gonna go with the stickers that I most commonly see, the GameStop stickers. Now, luckily they learned their lesson over the years and they don't put the stickers on the artwork anymore. Be careful with the plastic underneath. You could damage it with your nail, but as you go down, make sure you hit the left and the right as well. So you're basically trying to peel off like a little triangle until you could grab a hold of the sticker. Once you start peeling, make sure you don't hold on to that corner for too long. It might cause the sticker to rip halfway. Unstick your finger and reach towards the middle of the sticker as you pull back. Just keep pulling until the sticker completely comes off. As you can see, it's a pretty clean removal. This is the easiest sticker to deal with. Alright, and next, we have an older GameStop sticker. So I'm going to try the same process. Let's see if it works on this one as well. I can already tell by the way it's peeling is going to give a little trouble. Just a quick heads up. When you start pulling from that upper right corner, make sure that it's the sticker you're pulling and not the actual plastic. It's happened to me before, so be careful. Now in the scenario where the sticker doesn't come off easily, it's better to just try to remove the sticker as much as possible until all that's left is the paper that's underneath the sticker. This will make it way easier to absorb the solution. Okay, that's good enough for now. I forgot to show this in the beginning with the supplies, but you're also going to need something like cotton balls or even these cotton pads. Alright guys, for this part I advise that you wear some gloves. And the solution has a very strong order. Make sure you get a good amount on there. So the trick is for the paper to absorb the solution. Just press it on there so it could go through the paper and start dissolving the adhesive. Make sure you hit the corners, press into the edges. You're gonna wanna do this for about 40 seconds to a minute. So as you start to peel off, it'll come off fast and easy. I jump forward a little bit just to save some time. I don't want this video to be an hour long, but I do want it to be as detailed as possible. As soon as you could grab a hold of the sticker, it's ready to come off. So like I noticed, there was two stickers on here. So I just grabbed the same cotton ball with the solution still on there and pressed it for about another 20 seconds. And keep this in mind, you don't have to keep dipping the cotton in the solution. It's gonna stay on there and you can keep reusing it as much as possible. It completely dissolves the adhesive underneath so it doesn't leave any stickiness. And that's what we want. Just make sure you get a little bit of the leftover and the rest you could take off with some alcohol. So again, I'm using the same cotton ball. I still haven't dipped for a second time. Press, dab, and hold. 
30 to 40 seconds later, you should be good. Again, you wipe to get the rest and then finish off with some alcohol. So as you can see, I specifically bought this game for two dollars just to show you how to remove this sticker, guys. It's the infamous yellow GameStop sticker that they always put on the artwork. But I'm gonna show you right now how to take it off without causing any damage. So grab the plastic case and put it underneath the spine so it'll make it easier to press onto it. So for this one, I dipped and got some more solution. As you can see, as soon as I pressed into it, it started leaking, but it's okay because the solution dries up instantly and it won't damage the artwork. So as you can see on the artwork itself, it started instantly drying once it got a little wet. So like I said before, just make sure you hit the edges. It'll make it a little easier once you start peeling off. Just press, dab, and hold for a bit. About a minute or two. So remember to peel back a little triangle until you have enough to grab onto. Once you can get a good hold of it, you'll see how easily it starts coming off. Voila. So for the second sticker, same process, just grab the cotton and start pressing once again. Do like another 40 seconds to a minute. The goal is to get it into the sticker until you can see underneath it. So about a minute later, you can start peeling. So with this one, you will think I will have to be a little bit more gentle. But trust me, once the adhesive is dissolved, it'll start coming off on its own. This is why you shouldn't use Goo Gone. It's oil based and if it gets on the artwork, it can damage it. Nice and easy, and there you have it, completely off. Now here's the thing, most likely it's going to leave some stickiness underneath where the sticker was at, and I suggest just leaving it like that, because once I try to put the solution on the Q-tip, and once it got through the adhesive, it damaged the artwork. So try it on your own risk and be very careful. It might have some stickiness left over but it's better than having that yellow sticker on your spine. Once you put it on your shelf, you won't be able to tell. So in some cases, you'll get some stickers like this that just don't want to come off. As you peel off, it leaves all the stickiness behind. These are some of the worst ones right here. But don't worry, I got the solution. So the first thing you want to do is just use the sticker itself. Just fold it and use the adhesive that's left on the sticker. And dab to remove the remaining stickiness. The more adhesive is left on the sticker, the easier it'll come off. But this one left all the stickiness behind. Just remove as much as possible and you'll get the rest with the solution. So not much is left, so I'm going to use a Q-tip for this one. I'll get up close so you can see, but hit it against the light and you'll see where all the stickiness is at and just start slowly rubbing away. Rotate the Q-tip as you go. Once you get most of it, get the rest with some alcohol. This is very important because not only does it clean, but it also disinfects. You don't know who had these games before you got your hands on them. So remove the cover and get underneath the plastic. Wipe the case and the plastic itself. English. 
remove the disc. Whoa, it's a little dirty. I'll show you how to do that later. So make sure you recycle these napkins, guys. Just flip them over and keep reusing them. Wipe the inside. And with a Q-tip, get in between all the edges. Now, you don't have to do this for every single game, but I like to get my games to look as new as possible. Okay, and onto the disc. As you can see, this one has a lot of fingerprints. It's best to use the soft cloth, like the ones you clean your glasses with. Get a small amount and just start wiping away. So wipe all the way around until it almost looks like you have turtle wax on it. But trust me, it's okay. Just grab the dry part and complete wiping. Now this didn't come out perfect, but you can see the difference. Just rinse, repeat, and you'll get it. Alright, so now we're going to get to cleaning with the alcohol. So when you pour it onto the napkin, make sure you have enough, but don't overdo it. You don't want the alcohol seeping through the plastic and ruining your artwork. So you could press down harder in the middle of the plastic, but be careful when you're hitting the edges on top and bottom. Look at all the dirt that's come off this game. Make sure you hit the spine. Turn it around, get the back. Now what I normally do is I move it against the light so I can see if anything is still stuck on the plastic. As you can see, it has a little spot down there. And wipe it off. So look at the before, you see all the grime on dirt, and the after, nice and clean. Now wipe the top, wipe the middle where everyone opens the case from, and just repeat this process all the way around. In some cases, you'll get a game that has like some old adhesive left over, and it'll start to look something like this. So remove the artwork, dip the cotton ball, and look how easy it starts to come off. Wipe off as much as you can and get the rest with some alcohol. As you can see the end result, nice and clean. How to clean the game disc. I advise not to use alcohol on the disc itself because you can smudge the artwork. So the best thing to use is water. A couple of drops on the napkin and just slowly wipe. As you can see, there's a little bit of stickiness left on the top corner. But I'm going to show you how strong the solution is. I'm going to use the same cotton ball. As you can see, it still has the yellow from the GameStop stickers. And it still squeezes out some of that solution to get the adhesive off. Nice and clean. Alright guys, and last but not least. So normally when I buy a PS2 game, it starts to develop this oxidation inside the plastic. It makes the case look dusty and cloudy. But I have a quick, easy solution. A soft bristle brush. I recommend not using a hard bristle because you could damage the plastic itself. So just start brushing away. Get into all the crevices, all the corners, in the middle, the edges. You'll be able to see as it starts to clean up. There you go. Nice and clean. Almost looks brand new. 
also like the game disc itself the instruction manual sometimes has a little bit of dust or some cloudiness on it a very lightly damp napkin and wipe gently There you go. All right, guys. So there you have it. This has been the ultimate cleaning and sticker remover tutorial. I've been wanting to do this video for a while now because I'm someone who buys a lot of pre-owned games. And until I found a solution, removing stickers was a nightmare. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and share it with anyone who collects video games. I'm working on the PS3 collection update, over 25 new titles. Also in a couple of weeks, I'm doing an Xbox 360 collection, over 175 games. So stay tuned for more pickups, more collections, and more surprises. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.